Zhao Lucy's Shenyan is broadcast on dual platforms and faces off against Liu Shishi's One Thought to Pass the Mountain. The upcoming hit drama is highly anticipated by the audience. Among them, the costume drama One Thought to Pass the Mountain is one of the most popular dramas currently. However, as time goes by, the schedules of some new dramas have been announced one after another, such as the school drama The Boy Who Calls the Dragon, the contemporary puppet drama Derailment and the fairy tale drama The Hidden God. These episodes cover different themes, giving viewers more choices. The Hidden God is a costume drama starring Zhao Lucy and Wang Anayu. It has a unique plot setting and a fascinating storyline. This drama will show the growth and adventure experienced by the two protagonists on their journey to find Zion Un, and also show the emotional entanglement between them. The audience's expectations for this show are evident. In the context of the current increasingly diverse genres of popular dramas, costume dramas have always been one of the most popular genres. One Thought of Guanshin is a costume drama starring Liu Shishi and Liu Yuning, which has aroused heated discussions among the audience. The costume drama not only has a gripping plot and excellent acting skills, but also brings a magnificent visual enjoyment to the audience. And one thought of Wanshin happens to be aired at a time when there are currently no other costume dramas that can compete with it, so it is completely in a monopoly position. This drama has attracted much attention due to its unique storyline and high-level production team, and has become one of the most popular dramas currently. However, as time goes by, the schedules of some new dramas have been announced one after another, making the audience look forward to it. The school drama The Boy Who Mings the Dragon starring Zhang Royan and Wang Yao will be broadcast on CCTV8 on December 10, while the online broadcast platform will be Yoku. Another contemporary puppet drama derailment starring Liu Heokin and Lin Yu will be broadcast on Yoku on December 14. It belongs to the same genre of contemporary puppet drama as the currently popular I Miss You Very Much and provides the audience with more choices. The most unexpected thing is that the fairy tale drama Shen Yang will also be broadcast soon. The drama will be launched on the dual platforms of Tencent Video and Mango TV on December 8th. Shen Yang, which is also a costume drama like One Thought Guanshin, stars Zhao Lucy and Wang Anayu, bringing a wonderful showdown to the audience. Zhao Lucy's popularity has soared in recent years and she has a huge fan base. The variety show Flowers and Boys 5 in which the actor Wang Anayu participated is also very popular. It is said that the ratings of the first episode have completed the entire quarter's target. This time, the joining of Zhao Lucy and Wang Anayu made Chen Yan attract much attention. The Hidden God is adapted from Xing Ling's novel of the same name, and the plot is quite attractive. Ian, played by Zhao Lucy, is a water beast. Although she has a low status in the eyes of the world, she is very inspiring and motivated. Kuching, played by Wang Anayu, is the son of the true god. His divine power was blocked due to an accident, and he got to know Ian. From then on, the two embarked on the road to find Zion Inland together. In the process, they met many friends, became close friends with them, jointly maintained world peace, and assumed major responsibilities. The play will also depict the love, friendship and family affection between them, bringing a series of warm and touching stories to the audience. This setting is undoubtedly what the audience has been waiting for. In general, the upcoming school drama The Young Man Who Sings the Dragon, the contemporary puppet drama Derailment and the fairy tale drama The Hidden God are all highly anticipated. These episodes cover different themes, giving viewers more choices. As a costume drama, The Hidden God stars Zhao Lucy and Wang Anayu. It has a unique plot setting and a fascinating storyline. The audience's expectations for this show are evident. As these popular dramas are launched one after another, audiences can enjoy more diversified plots and exciting performances. I believe that the broadcast of these episodes will bring an audio-visual feast to the audience. Finally, what are your expectations and thoughts about the upcoming school drama The Boy Who Calls the Dragon, the contemporary puppet drama Derailment and the fairy tale drama The Hidden God? Which series are you most looking forward to watching? Welcome to leave a message to share your thoughts. Finyang Tianxia, A Thousand Year Promise, Finyang's Nirvana Return in a Myth, There is a Phoenix, which, after the Spirit Fox, has never been seen again, and its Finyang Immortal Energy carries the Thousand Year Promise. This Thousand Year Appointment makes people excited and excited. But now, this Thousand Year Promise has finally been fulfilled, Phoenix Nirvana, Finyang has returned. Fenyang Tianxia is a costume fantasy drama created by Liu Fang, a well-known screenwriter in the industry. The entire plot closely follows the theme of Phoenix's return from Nirvana. 
It tells the story of a group of young friends who went through many obstacles to collect Phoenix's immortal essence and help Phoenix return from Nirvana. This story has a compact plot and climaxes, making it unforgettable. There are rich characters in the play, and each friend has his own characteristics and personality. Among them, the heartless young man played by Lee Yunru is personable and handsome, Zio said, played by Zhao Lucy, is smart and witty, the addition of powerful actors such as Yang Er, Cao Firin, Jiana, and Zhu Jianing has added to the drama. Lots to see. In addition, the emotional entanglement between Yuan Shanjian and Cheng Shao Sheng, the second partner in the play, is exciting, and the audience is eagerly awaiting their development. It is worth mentioning that another highlight of this drama is that it is a companion piece to Eternal Ju Chen, with the same worldview and similar story settings. This setting is reminiscent of the legend of Miyu and the legend of Ming Dynasty. They are both works by the same author, but because of their similar worldview and story settings, they have become companion volumes and complement each other. Currently, the number of reservations for Fang in Tianxia has reached 3.3 million, and netizens are paying great attention to this drama. Although it may not necessarily become a hit, there is no problem with it becoming a hit. I believe that it will bring a visual feast to the audience, and will also make us feel the passion and touch of Fen Yan's return to Nirvana. Overall, Fen Yang Tianxia is a costume fantasy drama worth looking forward to. It has a compact plot, climaxes, rich characters, and a strong cast. I believe that with the audience's expectations, it will become a hit drama and bring us more surprises and touches. What are your thoughts and expectations for this drama? The director once advised him not to become an actor and ignored him even when handing out props. Now he counterattacked and finally became a top-notch actor. On the stage of the entertainment industry, every star has a unique growth experience and story. The name Chang Yi is now attracting much attention in the entertainment industry, and his counterattack story is full of challenges and persistence. Chang Yi faced many difficulties when he first debuted. His skin was darker and his voice was rough, completely different from today's. As an actor, his acting skills have been ostracized by his peers. Some directors even ridiculed him and said that he was not suitable for acting, and his original role would be cancelled. This series of blows greatly affected Chang Yi's self-confidence, and he even began to doubt his own talents. In 2016, Chang Yi once again experienced the embarrassment of being left out at the press conference of Quang Yun Zhi. The hostess who was handing out knives and forks to cut the cake simply ignored his outstretched hand, and it was heartbreaking to see him take it back helplessly. Although the scene was awkward, Zhao Liang took the initiative to invite him to cut the cake together, which slightly alleviated the embarrassment. At the opening ceremony of Chang and Yuo, all actors, supporting actors and behind-the-scenes staff received red envelopes, but the lead actor Chang Yu was ignored. After many requests, he finally got the red envelope. This kind of treatment made people feel unfair for him. Chang Yi experienced many difficulties and challenges on his acting career, but he never gave up. There was a time when he doubted himself and even considered quitting the acting industry. However, for the sake of his fans and his own dreams, he still chose to move forward firmly. This perseverance is admirable. As Chang Yi signed a contract with Huan Ru, he received more and more resources and his image became more handsome and charming. His acting level has improved significantly, and he has begun to try to play different types of roles, showing a variety of charms. The popularity of several costume dramas made him a popular top male god in one fell swoop. The number of his fans continues to rise, and his popularity in the entertainment industry is expanding day by day. In Liu Li, Chang Yi played the role of Yu Sifan. His delicate performance showed the deep emotions, tenderness and contradictions in Yu Sifan's heart. Chen Yi's performance level in this drama has improved significantly, which deeply moved the audience and moved them. In Agarwood Like Chips, he once again demonstrated his excellent acting skills. Through his in-depth understanding and precise grasp of the character, he vividly and interestingly displayed Yang Yuan's inner world. His performance style is varied, whether it is his affectionate eyes or his funny actions, he can captivate the audience. In the TV series Lotus Tower, Chen Yi successfully interpreted Li Ziyang Gai, a martial arts character full of martial arts atmosphere and passionate feelings. His performance is natural and smooth, vividly showing the complex emotions of the character's inner world. In addition, the play's fighting scenes have also been well received. Chen Yi's action scenes are clean and neat, making the audience enjoy watching them. Chen Yi not only starred in the above three dramas, 
but also played the role of Judge Doyian in Bottom Line and received high recognition from the audience, and in Mountains, Rivers and Moonlight, he successfully interpreted the image of a heroic and capable general. In addition, his performance in The Furious Sea and The Sacred Tree of the Kindling Mountains was equally well received. These roles demonstrate Chang Yi's diverse acting styles and rich acting abilities. Chang Yi's success is not accidental. He has won the love and respect of the audience through his hard work and talent. His acting skills are widely recognized. Whether it is a custom drama or a modern drama, he can portray his characters deeply into the hearts of the people. However, his success was not plain sailing. Behind it was his unremitting efforts and persistence. He always maintains self-requirements in acting and constantly improves his professional quality. In life, he is low-key and humble, passionate and dedicated to his work, and has proven himself to be an outstanding actor with his strength and actions. Today, Chang Yi has gotten rid of his identity as a rookie actor who was ridiculed by the director and ostracized by his peers. With his hard work and talent, he has become a high-profile new generation of top male gods in the entertainment industry. His experience has inspired countless young people to chase their dreams and bravely face the challenges and difficulties in life. We firmly believe that in the future, Chang Yi will continue to present us with more excellent works and wonderful performances with his strength and actions.